This is us, crossing a river in the heart of Wyoming's most beautiful country after a series of thunderstorms the night before when the river had rose. And that bike? That's so we can cover some more ground in search of one thing, some chunky brook trout. Follow along as we embark on another killer adventure from Tracking Outdoors. Elise, what you doing? Picking out my flies tomorrow. We got there the day before, packed our packs, set up camp, but by morning, we were ready to catch fish. We're hitting the road. Okay, so we just pulled up to the parking lot. One thing that we didn't notice is there's no bridge across the river. Well, it rained pretty good last night and this river's going pretty good. So, trying to get these bikes across this river is gonna be our challenge. With the feeling of uncertainty that we could even get to this little spot that we found on the map, we loaded our packs and took off. So we found what looks like the shallowest area that we can find. Wish us luck that we don't get too wet. Okay, just got across. Holy cow, it is cold. Yeah, these snow patches are still melting in the mountains up here. It really tried to take the bike with the current. Come on, Rick. I'll feel a little bit better on the way back today, maybe. After conquering the river, we knew that we had a couple barbed wire fences to get across, and then we had to cross this long meadow to get to a small two-track road on the other side. All right, we found it. Um, it definitely does not look like it's been traveled this year. There it is. Dang, we made it. Holy moly. Uh, the roads are pretty washed out trying to get in here, but I don't see any tracks of anybody in here uh, at all this year. Bikes falling apart a little bit. Got the handlebars. Are... We're gonna get some tubes filled up here and get our waders on. Bleach and a midge. Just sat down. And uh, boy, the water is so clear. It's so cool to see. Okay, one thing. 
thing we've noticed since we've been out here. Wind's starting to pick up for one, but the uh, this water's deep. This lake is a deep, deep lake. Like, water's super, super clear. We can't see the bottom, so it's gotta be every bit of 30, 40 feet where we're at right now. So trying to get that fly in front of these fish. Um, we gotta get around some structure. tube floated it across I'm gonna walk down this bank and see if I can't find some structure to, uh, to kind of fish around here okay so fishing from the bank has not produced any fish at least it's still out there in the tube she hasn't caught anything either I'm gonna get back in my tube and get back to where uh, we've got all of our stuff and I can see some shallower water where some fish are jumping. I'm um, kind of at the end of this lake, so go. Uh, maybe try some shallower water. Looks like we got a series of clouds coming in that are pretty gray. That's for dang sure. So getting out of this tube seems better and better. After fishing for a couple hours with no results. We decided to head to that area of the lake where I could see some fish feeding on the surface. Okay, we got a bunch of trees in the water right here, so hopefully that creates a little enough structure for these fish to uh, come in here and feed. Okay, we're on. Finally. And it wasn't long. After finding a little cove out of the wind, Elise was hooked up on her first fish. Yeah. It's big shit out of it. It's pretty, huh? It's got like turquoise to them. fish of the day. Elise was on the board and after waiting patiently with my dog at my side I was just waiting for that bobber to go underwater just the slightest bit but Elise was hooked up again. getting out fish by my wife. We cracked a couple early afternoon beers and it happened to change my luck. There it is. Finally, huh? A couple of mild rainstorms blew through and it changed everything. The bite was on. I definitely wouldn't say that it's been on fire, um, but we're catching fish and uh, a couple pretty nice brook trout really. I mean, normally the brook trout we catch are like six inches long now we're, now we're 12, 14 inches, you know, we're pretty happy with that. So, um, yeah. Well, there we go. Come on, Elise.
that's probably the biggest brick trout I've ever caught. Uh, so that's pretty awesome to be able to do that today. Uh, that's why we there, came up here. That's why we came up here. We heard that there was good brook trout in here. And uh, heck, we look forward to catching a few more here. Dang, it's been a great day. Uh, we've caught quite a few fish. Uh, Elise, you've caught quite a few fish. We've been thinking it's gonna rain all day, but it never did, never did. Seems like it's all around us. I caught my biggest brook trout today. How cool. Well, we're gonna uh, go over here, get the air out of our tubes, head back down the hill. We're gonna go back to camp and cook some pizza in the Dutch oven tonight. Heck yeah. Getting down the hill always seems to be easier said Ready? than done. The adventure wasn't over. We still had to get across a raging river and it always seems like anything can happen on these e-bikes. Elise's bike's down. We just started getting down the hill here and on the good thing we're all downhill <laughs> it's all downhill from here and Elise's bike won't turn on so and it's raining so it's raining now my freaking chain popped off what you got going on Elise chain fell off We got the chain put back on easy enough. But you remember those loose handlebars? Well, my handlebars. I don't think they're supposed to be down there. I don't know. Well, what else are you gonna do? That. Elise says I should walk this thing. I said I'm riding this son of a With my front and back brake lever pointed in the wrong direction, we pushed on and continued down the hill. I asked Elise. She says, I need a quick break. My legs are like jello. I said, you want to trade? No, I'll pedal. <laughs> this is going to be the deepest part right here, OK?
All right, just made it back to the truck. Got the waders off. We did wear our waders down the hill uh, so that we didn't have to cross that river that was freezing cold without them. So, um, but that kind of backfired on Elise because then she had to pedal in her waders. <laughs> uh, she's, we're pretty hot and sweaty right now, that's for dang sure. What do you think, you lose change of clothes and cold beer? Absolutely. This one seems a little bit more well deserved. <laughs> Thanks again for following Tracking Outdoors. Hey, and make sure you hit that subscribe button for us.